Tiffany's birthday. Tiffany's a Merle, man. She don't even look like a Merle, but she is a Merle. If not, I would have had the litter right here. But yeah, she a little birthday girl today. <laughs> Y'all best friends or what? I got some of the most exotic dogs on YouTube, man. Subscribe to my channel. I be posting them every day. Some of the most exotic dogs on YouTube. Look at that shit. We got rainbows over here. Chanel. She just had a litter. We got puppies available. French bulldogs available coming. Everything. <clears throat> when you buying your first dog, don't cheap out. You know, spend that money, get that quality. Don't try to buy multiple dogs for a good price. This don't work like that, man. In this game, in the dog breeding industry, is quantity over quality. Cause quantity, there's man, there's already so many dogs out here, man. You're gonna end up letting them go for free if you don't got that that quality. So keep that in mind. Man. It finally uh the weather's changing man it's getting real hot not really but it feels perfect i ain't gonna lie it feels perfect everyone's chilling literally everyone right chanel everyone's big chilling they love this weather You want to give me paw? Or what? What's up? You want to give me that paw? Hmm? You just chilling, huh? You love that weather. Yeah, I know you do. Man, everyone's literally relaxed. I love it. They just sunbathing out here in the sun. They love that Texas weather. All right. How that sun feeling, Queenie? Mama Queen. This is my mama Queen, man. I'm waiting on her to get pregnant. We got Chanel. Then we got my little stud, Bentley. That boy's sunbathing. You enjoying that sun? You can't even see. You can't even see me. How yo? His uh, his eye got better. He's he's feeling a lot better, man. His eye healed up. It turned brown again. You know, it had turned hazel blue. I mean, it had turned blue, but it's turning back hazel. So you know, that's good news. He's gonna be fine, hopefully, man. Right, Mr. Bentley. One thing I can say is that <clears throat> when you got a stud, man, you got to go to the best vets. Got my son a treat. Since we got to wait three hours, finna feed my boy real quick. Right, son. Right, son. He's so patient. I love that little boy. He look good. His eye got better already. You know, I'm just trying to get it checked up. That's it. Should be something quick. You know, make sure that boy is healthy. You know, you wanna you wanna be breeding quality. Make sure he's all good. He's good to go. Yeah, man, get him get him health checked, health cleared. He should be good to go. You wanna keep business a one. It might get a little expensive with them vets, but you know, that's what it costs to be a boss. You know, a real boss could take a loss. You know what I'm saying? Right, Ben. Right, Ben. Yeah, man. That's just all I gotta say. I ain't scared to spend money. You know, you gotta spend money to make money. You know, he has seven girlfriends, so you know, I'm gonna do everything 
to make sure my boy's always good, you know? Right now, he only has seven girlfriends, you know? The stud fee's at 2,000. Y'all come tap in if you got a Frenchy female. He's a fluffy carrier with clean-ass DNA. He got everything you need, man. I'm telling you. Y'all come tap in. Uh... I'm gonna show love, man. I'm gonna help you sell puppies. We're gonna promote your female on the channel. We're gonna do everything. So let us know. And show me y'all's female. You know, I'm trying to make some crazy puppies with him. My boy is insane quality, man. He's gonna produce some heat. I'm expecting some crazy puppies off him. You know? Man, just last week though, I ain't gonna lie to you. On Lulu, I spent like 500 on the uh, at the vet. I'm probably expecting the same today. But it's all good, man. It's part of the game. And the worst part is when, you know, when you gotta argue with a vet because uh, some vets don't agree with breeding. So you know, they they might not. A lot of a lot of vets always recommend for you to put your dog down. Or to spade your dog. So, you know, go to someone that knows what they're doing and supports what you're doing. Because some people, some vets will purposely, you know, mess up your dog, man. And that's facts. Read the reviews at the veterinary clinics that y'all go to. You know, Shady Grove Animal Hospital. I'm going to put them on the spot. They almost killed Bentley once, you know. They try to they try to give him steroids, but I was like, bro, what are you doing? You know, I stopped them from doing that. They try to give my boy steroids on some crazy stuff. I went in there for a respiratory, you know, uh, he just had a little bit of mucus. He had a little bit of mucus. I went in there to get some little medicine. And uh, he was like, hey, I think he needs steroids, you know, to, uh, to take away the bronchitis or whatever he said. I don't know what he said. But he was just trying to give my dog steroids and I wasn't rocking with it because my puppy was four months old. Why are you gonna give him steroids? What if he has an allergic reaction to that? I don't know, I didn't like that bad at all. And he kept arguing with me. He kept arguing with me, so I just walked out of there, you know, before he even hurt my dog. I don't like, I don't like vets like that, man. And then I also read the reviews on that man. He has killed dogs before, man. I'm glad I didn't let him do anything else to my dog. But if you read the reviews at Shady Grove Animal Hospital, search that up, they've killed dogs there. They've literally killed dogs there. So, you know, stay stay away from places like that, man. You know, uh, another thing with them females, you know, don't cheap out on them progesterone tests. Always go to the vet or go whoever does your PG test. Always go spend those $60 on every test. You know, uh, especially when the litter's about to drop, man. A lot of people like to cheap out and just on day 60 of pregnancy, they just go to the vet and open up you know, they go do the C-section. That's not good. You know, I had a whole litter <clears throat> die because they came out premature. So, and I thought they were fine because they made it to three weeks old and then they all passed away. It was nine puppies. You know, that was crazy. That was my first litter. I learned a lot. Uh, man, just don't cheap out when it comes to this stuff, man. You cannot cheap out. Uh, at day 60, go do another PG test. They're called reverse progesterone test when your female's pregnant. You're gonna go check uh, how far along she is, and they're gonna tell you an estimate about when to uh, do the C-section. They might tell you open her in 24 hours, open her in 12 hours. You know, it all depends. It all goes off progesterone numbers. So if she's at a three or below, they usually are okay to open her for the C-section. You know. That means they won't come out premature. Bentley. Got people looking at me crazy for vlogging, but you know, that's that YouTube life. We're in front of the quick trip right now. Chilling. What's up, son? But yeah, man. Same thing with the C-sections. Don't try to find the cheapest vet. Go find whoever is the most experienced, because I had a buddy of mine that he went to this cheap vet that was in, you know, he just looked around and see who had the best prices. And man, they ended up leaving one puppy inside of his female and they never took out the placenta. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure those vets know what they're doing because he almost lost his mama. He lost the puppy. You know, that's just, you could have, 
you could have avoided that, you know, doing a little research and spending a little bit more money, you know, going with a real professional. You know, not all vets are uh, certified in breeding, uh, C-sections, stuff like that. You know, it's a different side of uh, vets. It's a different side of, uh, you know, veterinary work. What's up, son? What's up, son? But yeah. More of the story is if you cheap out, it's probably gonna go bad. You know? And you might end up spending more money. Because imagine he lost the mama. If you lose the mama, man, you're out of luck, bro. That's it for you. You know, and, and that's an unfortunate situation because I know how it feels to lose a dog, man. That it sucks. It sucks. 